Hey everyone, this is Alicia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this smoky eyeshadow look with some pearl accents. So if you would like to see how I created it, just keep on watching. I'm priming my eyes using the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Deep Cool, which is an absolute favorite of mine if you're new here. I'm going to then blend it out using my Real Techniques Concealer Brush before using my BH Number no. 3 brush from the Studded Elegance Brush Set with some Cover FX Translucent Light Setting Powder to set it all in place. I'm using the shade from the Huda Beauty Khaki Haze Obsessions palette and an e.l.f. blending brush to apply it slightly below my brow bone and this is going to act as my transition shade. I'm packing the shade on before going in with a Ruby Kisses tapered blending brush to help diffuse the color. I'm doing so using back and forth windshield wiper motions for this step. I'm now going to use a different e.l.f. blending brush and this shade and apply this slightly above my crease. I'm also using windshield wiper motions while also small circular movements. This helps to ensure that I have the most seamless blending and rids my eye of any harsh lines that were created when applying my shadows. I'm now going into this shade with a wet and wild fluffy crease brush and applying this directly into my crease. I love that this shade doesn't apply super harsh and it allows for you to intensify it the more that you apply. This shade is honestly so beautiful and I love how it built up. I'm packing this shade on before I actually worry about blending it out. Holding your brush at the end allows for effortless diffusing of your colors because it gives you the least amount of control when blending. I'm going to go back and forth between this shade and this brush and that second shade that I used with my e.l.f. blending brush. Just make sure you go back and forth so that any harsh lines that are created you can diffuse them. I'm now using my Morphe M507 brush and the MAC Cosmetics Carbon Single Eyeshadow and packing this shade into my crease on the outer V of my eye. I'm only applying this shade in this section of my eye to create some depth and create a slightly smoky effect. To pack on this shade, I'm holding the brush as if I'm holding a pencil and once I actually start blending, I'm going to hold it towards the end of the brush. The handling of your brushes honestly makes such a difference when doing your eyeshadow and it really makes the whole process so much easier, especially when it comes to blending. Once I've built this shade up to my liking, I'm then going to go back into my previous brushes to make sure I rid this look of any lines of demarcation and to make sure that I have the gradient that I'm looking for. Now that the first part of this look is complete, I'm taking my Morphe B44 brush and this shade and applying this shade as my brow bone highlight. Make sure that you go back in with your Ruby Kisses brush and your transition shade to make sure that your highlight isn't so stark. To carve my lid, I'm using my P. Louise number 7071 brush and some Vaseline Healing Jelly or regular Vaseline. And I made sure to fully saturate both sides of the brush in the Vaseline. I've been seeing the artists at P. Louise Academy and other makeup artists use this trick and I've wanted to try it for a while. And holy crap, this honestly made cutting my crease so damn easy. It is definitely a tedious step, but the end result totally made this well worth it. It really made my base and the shadows that I placed down afterwards really popped. I'm carving my lid to where I place carbon and then to remove it, I'm going to carefully use a Q-tip to remove all of the Vaseline. Make sure that you really, really take your time with this step and you fully remove it and that your lid is dry before you place down your base. To apply my base, I'm using a Royal and Lang Nickel Zen No. 8 brush and the P. Louise and Mamamama Mitchell Blank Canvas Acid Rain Paint. I'm applying it to the blank space on my lid that I just created and as you can see it has no color transfer and that's because I removed the shadow that was underneath it. Once my base is applied, I'm using an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush to pat the base and to make it tacky. I'm also using my finger to blend out the outer edges so that there isn't a harsh line off when I apply my shadows. Nothing but a sinner You won't 
I'm going back in with my Morphe M507 brush and some more carbon to the outer edge of my base and I'm using slight swiping motions inward to help blend the shadow onto the base so that there aren't any lines of demarcation. I'm using a random eyeshadow brush to apply this shade to the inner third of my lid and as you can see there is no shadow picking up on the brush. I tried it dry, I tried it wet and still nothing so I had no choice but to use my finger. And honestly that's not ideal for a situation like this where you have a cut crease and you want this to apply and be super precise. I'm now taking this shade and had the same exact issue trying to use a brush whether if it were wet or dry. So, and with my finger, I went again, and I can't even lie, the shades did apply beautifully. I made sure to go back in with the previous shade and applied it over this shade, but slightly overlapping it so that they blended seamlessly. I mentioned in my swatch video that the shimmers were extremely hard pan, and in order for me to even apply these shades, I had to keep scratching the surface and use the shavings to apply them to my lid. Without adding any more carbon, I'm just going back in with my M507 brush and I'm blending it inward to make sure that all the shades are blended well together. Using a bit of NYX Cosmetics glitter primer and that same random eyeshadow brush, I'm applying it over the shimmer shades I just placed down. And then I'm going to pat a little bit of the Bolt Glitter's Cloud Buster Clear Loose Glitter on top of it. You could honestly skip this step if you want, but I personally just wanted to add some sparkle to the look. I'm using a Morphe liner brush from the Isolay brush set and a bit of the dark brown shade in the palette to clean up my crease and a makeup removal wipe to clean up any fallout and create a really sharp effect on the outer edges. You could also use concealer for this step if you don't feel comfortable creating a sharp edge with the wipe. I'm using the pen side of my Essence 2-in-1 black eyeliner pen to pretty much tight line my upper lash line but this step as well is also very optional. I'm now using my dual lash glue and making little dots to apply these pearl gems to my eyes. I did like a tea-like shape for this and for reference I'm using two bigger sizes and five smaller ones. I got these gems from eBay for like three dollars and it has a bunch of assorted sizes in the pack. I'm priming my lashes using the Lancome Sills Booster XL Mascara Primer and once it's dry I'm going to coat my lashes using the Lancome Big as the New Black Mascara. For this look I'm using the Rebel Access NY or NY lashes, I'm not sure how to pronounce them. And I chose these lashes because the look is already dramatic and I don't want the lashes to cover everything that I just did and to take away from the look itself. And I love how these paired with it. I do have a code with the company in my description box down below. It doesn't earn me any money. It is merely just to save you money off of your purchase. I just did my hair and the rest of my face off camera. And now I'm using some more carbon and a wet and wild smudge brush to smudge this shade as close to my lash line as possible. And I'm making sure to leave a bit of blank space once I get to my inner corner. To line my waterline, I'm using the Essence Gunmetal Gel Eyeliner. I'm going back in with my e.l.f. blending brush and that dark brown shade to blend out my lower lash line. I'm alternating between my smudge brush and my blending brush to further smoke it out. I'm priming my lashes and as I'm waiting for them to dry, I'm going to use my Morphe B44 and apply that gold shade as my inner corner highlight. Once my primer is dry, I'm going back in with the biggest, the new black mascara to coat my lashes. And then I'm going to cut up some of the LA Colors Dainty Lashes. I decided to add some more, I don't know, oomph to this look. And I just wanted to try something. I love how the cut up lashes looked on my orange look. So I wanted to do that again for this one. 
And what I did is I just used a little bit of my dual lash glue and some tweezers to put the pieces behind my actual eyelashes. And this completes the look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well as turn on your notifications. And I hope to see you all soon. Bye.